Joining me now here on set, pal David Bonson, managing partner of the Bonson Group. David Bonson, start with you. What's your take on this and how we're going to get out of this? Well, you said that they could raise rates 300 more basis points or they could go to the supply side idea. So if it's A or B, I take B. Yes. And I agree with you, they're not going to do it. But B is what we need. Yes. 300 more basis points will hurt the middle class people more that are already hurting now from higher prices. It will largely unaffect the people that are in the upper income margins. Basically, Larry, this is a supply side driven inflation phenomena and it has supply side resolution if they would go there. Lower tax rates, energy revolution. These things can be done. Deregulation. No one's talking about that. It would be an instant solution. But the problem is ideological. They don't believe in it. David Bunsen, the other thing that's so painful here for working folks is real wages have fallen. Yep. I think I said 17 consecutive months. So a lot of folks are working harder and more folks are working, coming back to work from COVID. But what they're getting by is less. And that has to be a killer, an absolute killer. It's de demoralizing. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you're sitting around saying, my God, I'm giving it my best shot and, and I, I can't even get baby formula on the shelves. Well, and that's with the uh, labor having a lot of leverage because it's three and a half percent unemployment. Imagine if they get over five percent unemployment. This is the problem I have that our supply side friends agree with me on. I don't like the idea of saying the jobs are inflationary. No, I don't, I don't right. like the idea of saying that, oh, we got to get a lot of people not working and that'll solve for inflation by crushing demand. We have got to have a healthier, more organic way of promoting the production of goods and services. More work incentives. Yes. bring inflation down. Is that fair? That's right. I mean, and, the, really. and, and getting the labor participation force up. But work incentives, work fair, that's a huge part of how More investment it. incentives. Now, they're raising taxes on investment. That was part of the Inflation Reduction Act. Yeah. More investment incentives through lower rates would bring down inflation. See, it's worth saying to you, because you were so instrumental in this, the, when we talk about the latest bill that's raising incentives, uh, excuse me, investment taxes, think about Build Back Better. What if Manchin had not held the line there? What if they put that in? What would we be talking about right now? It's unfathomable if investment taxes had gone up that much, that would have crushed incentives for investment. Well, you know my story. I, I, I fell in love with him, and then he broke my heart. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> David Bonson, I would like to think, <laughs> hypothetically, that the cavalry is coming, and both houses are going to go GOP, so at least they might stop bad stuff, maybe even repeal some of these bills. Certainly that student loan cancellation was unconstitutional. Maybe they'd go back on that. If that were the case, would you buy the stock market on the way down? Well, yes. I mean, we're long-term investors. We're long-term investors, so I would anyways. I love gridlock. I love gridlock for the market, <laughs> yes. and history loves gridlock for the market. I want to take the Senate. I hope we do. But I know we're taking the House. Larry. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the House. That means gridlock. So at least we stop the bleeding there. We have to focus on the right agenda going into 2024, to get back all three branches of government and do some good things for the economy. Ultimately, though, the issue that the market is going to set itself up for a rally here is exactly what John was talking about with where the Fed funds rate is projected to be. There's some point at which the old Jay Powell's coming back, I promise. <laughs> There's some point. The wussy Jay Powell. He's coming back. And credit spreads wide enough. Remember, they're doubling quantitative tightening. Mm. No one's talking about that. They're haven't doubling. Seen it yet. They haven't seen That's it yet. That's intent. about to start. So if that all of a sudden starts accelerating the extraction of liquidity, then the Fed funds rate, he cannot continue to be aggressive. But it's That's tough. My... It's, I don't want to get too technical, but it's yeah. tough to sell mortgages because prepayments have stopped. Oh, that, well, that's got, right. I mean, it's not going to be easy to get rid of the balance sheet. Right. This anti-inflation stuff, whatever he does, faster, slower, faster, slower, it's going to go on for at least another year, maybe two years. I don't see how you get the, the, the problem is that I want to be able to disagree because I think with the right growth agenda, you can have 500,000 jobs and still have low inflation. Sure. We've seen it. It's just that we you don't can. have the growth agenda. You can have it. You can. With the right. I agree. Spy side fiscal policies, free markets. Why don't we reward success instead of punishing it? Why don't we reward work instead of inflation punishes work? Yeah.